Grade 4 math number 97, perpendicular and intersecting lines. Perpendicular lines intersect to make right angles. See how the corners make like a box shape? That's a right angle. Intersecting lines cross at one point and they make four angles. See? Where this line CD is intersecting line AB, it makes one, two, three, four corners, four angles. And where EF is intersecting line AB, it makes one, two, three, four. See? Four angles. Now it says they cross at one point, and they do. Look at how this one would continue on, and this one would eventually cross it. Well, don't think that it's crossing at two points. The lines are only crossing at one point. Line AB is only crossing EF at one point. When these two cross, then EF is crossing CD. It's not crossing AB. It's two different lines crossing. See? So they always cross at one point. If they didn't, they wouldn't be straight lines. They'd be curved lines, wouldn't they? In order to cross at two points. See? So, no. Okay, well, the symbol with a little line, with a line going straight up, means perpendicular. Perpendicular lines are always at right angles. They are always box-shaped, square-shaped, okay? If we were to look at these two orange ones, we'd say ray WX, yes, this is a ray, because it doesn't continue below line AB. Okay, sorry about my focus there. Ray WX is perpendicular to line AB. And it would be written as, like this down here, WX with a one-way arrow to mean ray, with a perpendicular sign, and then AB with the double-arrowed line to mean line AB. For this one right here, you'd say line RS, the one going straight up and down here, is perpendicular to line PQ, the one going side by side. And to write it, it would be like this, RS with the double arrowed line with the perpendicular sign with PQ with the double arrow line. See? Line RS is perpendicular to PQ. For the intersecting lines, looking up here, okay, line CD, all right, that's this one, and EF, that's this one, intersect line AB. See that? CD intersects line AB at point G, right there. See? And that would be written as CD with capital letters with the double pointed arrow and AB, capital letters with the double pointed arrow above it, intersect at point G. Line EF, that's this one, intersects line AB, that's this one, at point H, right there, that's point H. It would be written as capital EF with the double pointed arrowed line above it and a capital AB with a double pointed arrow line above it intersect at point H. That's how it would be written. Okay? There are perpendicular and intersecting lines everywhere around us. They're in the window panes of our windows where the door trim meets the floor in brick mortar lines and tile floor lines. They're everywhere. Maybe even ceiling tiles. They're everywhere, aren't they? Streets can be perpendicular and intersecting. Here, Main Street intersects Elm Street, and they are perpendicular. And you know what? Do you know where Main Street and Elm Street meet? At the intersection. That's why it's called an intersection. See? It's cause was, that's where the two streets intersect. Isn't that something? I know this is a terrible drawing of a planet. It's a supposed to be similar to the Earth, but you understand, because latitude and longitude lines on the Earth intersect each other. See? They would intersect with the equator, wouldn't they? Mm-hmm. So, perpendicular and intersecting lines are everywhere. You know they're perpendicular when it makes a right angle, like that. They intersect at one place and make four angles. Okay, and perpendicular's symbol is a little line with a straight line going up. Okay, so we're going to talk about planes next, and I don't mean airplanes, 
I mean flat planes that things sit on. I'll see you there. Bye.